sale will be there. So for offline reading. <coughs> Excuse me. Now let's go to the navigator. This is for the traffic application. All you have to do is to click navigator. Now everybody turned off their Wi-Fi, so thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. So this, as you can see, the, the entire uh, web browser shows, renders beautifully the entire website. So there's actually no need for, for you to, to do whatever, anything else. So if you want to check it on Live View, Google Map, like what Robbie said, all well, you have to do is click. And lastly, uh, here's one feature that we were able to uh, put in the app, which I'm very happy to announce now. Uh, most people thought that we, when we would come up with an iOS application, it would just be the news and the traffic and the same articles. But we were also able to uh, put in the radio stream of our radio station, uh, Radio Cinco, so 92.3 uh, News FM. So uh, if we can just get a jack for the audio. Okay, so let's hope this works. So click radio. Check on the button. There. Uh, another good thing with the tweets is you can actually also reply and retweet already from this window. So all you have to do is click a uh, tweet. So for example, uh, I Trish Roque, all you have to do is to click either reply or if you want to retweet. Okay, and again, uh, all of your saved news are here. So all you have to do is to, to sta uh, tap star if you want to be able to save uh, your favorite articles. And also, uh, we were able to put in radio streaming as well. So if you want to listen to uh, Radio Cinco, 92.3 News FM, uh, anywhere as long as you have your smartphone, you'll be able to. Uh, and that's it for my demo. And I hope you guys try it out when you, when you go outside. Uh, there are, and I'm sure you will see the iPad. Uh, will very much enjoy the service. So again, uh, thanks everyone for uh, having me this evening.